It's a me, a Mario. Briefly, I hate Mondays. Uh, where you're supposed to be? Give me some lasagna! Dance off, bro. Just you and me. Jumping jacks, hit him. One, two, three. I am so pumped up! Hey, none of you guys don't sound like Chris Pratt. You sound like poorly aged bootlegs. Wait, is that Garfield? <laughs> All jokes aside, I can't believe this, but this is not a joke once again. I'm gonna go 2.0 just like with the Mario movie. Ironically, Chris Pratt is gonna voice Garfield. What is going on? Okay, okay, I need to calm down. First of all, what is up with Chris Pratt being cast as fan favorite fictional characters from our childhood? First, it's Super Mario himself. It's a me, a Mario. And now it's the fat cat that loves eating lasagna. And now, to be honest, I don't know what to say, but uh, this looks pretty interesting, not gonna lie. Just to let you guys know, this is not like a hate or disrespect to Chris Pratt, and I'm not mad about this. I really like Chris Pratt. I consider myself to like the guy. I think he's really funny. He's pretty bold. I am like that. He's open about his faith and his Christianity, so mad respect to the brother right there. But I also like his work, obviously, in Parks and Recreation, Star-Lord and Guardians of the Galaxy, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, racing with Velociraptors in Jurassic World, voicing a Lego minifigure in the Lego movie, and then voicing a mystical character in Disney Pixar's Onward, which I believe that's where Hollywood studios are like, hmm, let's make him be the voice of Mario and also the voice of Garfield. At this point, let's make Chris Pratt voice any iconic character from our childhood. Let him voice Pink Panther in the Jeff Fowler Pink Panther reboot. Let Chris Pratt voice Popeye. Oh, even better, let him voice Woody, since Chris Evans, Captain America's Buzz Lightyear in the recent Lightyear trailer, Chris Pratt will be sure for him be like, reach for the sky. Anyway, I'm just joking. Let's get back to the topic. So, now that we know that Chris Pratt's gonna be voicing Garfield in an animated reboot that we distribute by Sony Pictures. Hmm, interesting. This isn't the first time that Sony took like a classic cartoon IP like the Smurfs. Two live action movies, get an animated reboot, and wait, isn't it the Smurfs game like a Nickelodeon series and I think Nickelodeon owns the rights to Garfield right now, so it's such a coincidence. I think not. Comparing franchises aside, can we just talk about how Garfield's design looks absolutely amazing? Like, it's directly, like, it reminds me of the homage of the comic book sketches by Jim Davis' creation. But, also, I like the fact that it's animated and it's getting a 3D treatment, just like Scooby-Doo, just like the Smurfs, and now it's Garfield. And I guess this is just because Bill Murray does not want to do a third live-action Garfield movie. He even regrets doing the live-action Garfield movies. They even made a joke about Garfield 3 in a Zombieland 2 scene. Equal. Question is, why in the world Garfield 3? Can this be just between us? Yes. Drugs cost money. For a parody skit like that, it makes me think of, hmm, if Bill Murray doesn't want to do Garfield 3, let's reboot Garfield to animation, but, uh, let's hire the guy who's currently gonna voice Mario for the anime movie. Yeah, I like that Chris Pratt guy, let's cast him. I bet that's how the casting choice goes. Even though we already get the idea that Chris Pratt's gonna voice the iconic cat, let's just read the synopsis. Chris Pratt is gonna voice the lasagna-loving, Monday-hating comic strip cat Garfield in a new animated movie! Andrew Cusco and Broderick Johnson's Alcon Entertainment is behind the new Garfield, which has been picked up for worldwide, excluding China, released by Sony Pictures. The script, written by Oscar nominee David Reynolds, who wrote Fine Nemo, is being directed by Mark Dindo, who directed Chicken Little? With the duo having previously worked together on The Emperor's New Groove, you're telling me that this new Garfield animated reboot is made by the same guy who gave us Chicken Little? He's the greatest dancer, oh wow, wow, that I'll ever see! If this animated Garfield reboot eventually has like bad quality taste, then it might be a guilty pleasure like Chicken Little, or it might be something extremely hilarious like Emperor's New Groove like these guys have made before. So overall, I'm actually pretty interested. I think Chris Pratt can actually do the role pretty much fine, so I definitely have faith that he can actually like nail the voice. Heck, he even rock a Garfield body before when he used to be fat and lazy like Mario, no offense, until he beef himself up to be a guardian. I'm just saying, if Chris Pratt doesn't go out too well for Garfield as well as Mario, Mario, I think Bowser himself, Jack Black, has a message for him. Hey, Pratt Pratt, I'm coming for you. Yeah, Bowser, gonna eat you whole. I'm gonna barbecue you and then eat you. <laughs> barbecue chicken. <laughs>
Till this day, who would have thought that Nacho Libre would be Bowser? I mean, what's the next weirdest casting consideration from an A-list fan favorite actor, but eventually get to play another iconic fictional character? Wait, what? Marvel rumor Jim Carrey to play with Modoc. Oh, come on! Give me a big fat break! Anyway, I need to talk about that for some other time. So overall, what are your thoughts on Chris Pratt voicing Garfield after being announced to be a part of this animated Garfield reboot? Do you think Chris Pratt will fit for the role? Do you have hope for the movie? Or are you going to be like, oh, this sucks. I don't like Chris Pratt. Oh, this movie's going to be trash. <laughs> Even though he's going to suck his Mario anyway. Okay, well, opinions, opinions. It's fair, it's fair. But overall, I'm just going to wrap up this video right now because I'm definitely going to need a briefer to relax. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye. Why then?